In this episode of Truck Route Detours, we celebrate Labor Day weekend with fire trucks and pirates. We send the kids back to school, then we take road back in time to Columbus, Ohio, where we check out the York Steakhouse. Youngstown, New York for Labor Day weekend and this is the annual Labor Day Field Day Parade. But there's no field day anymore, so it's just the Labor Day uh, Parade. So uh, we're gonna ride on the fire truck of David, Judge David Truesdale and uh, we're gonna throw some candy at people and that's about it. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not replacing that is about it. Oh yeah, we're also no, doing a collab with again. Um, We're collabing with Countryside Lawn Care, right? And uh, just having a good time. Randy is way up front in the other truck. He's driving that one. Ryan is driving this one. And uh, I'm on the roof trying to stay standing because Ryan likes the brakes a lot. More than I thought he would. We got Pete the Pirate, Joey on top. This truck was in service with the Yelkstown Volunteer Fire Company from 1990 until it was retired and replaced with the 2019 years. And hey look kids, it's the school bus. Coming to pick your butts up. All right, good morning, or <laughs> it's almost noon time. On uh, Tuesday, September 3rd. This morning was the first day of school for the kiddos. Here's a quick look at uh, the kids getting on the bus. Joey starts eighth grade today. And uh, I'd much rather be sleeping in this morning, but we gotta do the ceremonial. Give me the celebratory uh, action of how excited you are for school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, it's the first day back to work after Labor Day weekend. And uh, we have a, uh, a load we picked up last week um, that we have to run up to Depew and uh, deliver. After that, we have to go and pick up our next load um, in Niagara Falls, which is heading out to Springfield, Missouri. Have an idea for something cool to find on our trip uh, down there, but you'll just have to wait and see what it is.
All right, so good morning, uh, almost noon. Uh, we are in Columbus, Ohio, and uh, today we are making a special lunch stop. Um, I'm a child of the 80s. Uh, I grew up in uh, western New York uh, near Niagara Falls, and uh, my mall when I was growing up was the Summit Park Mall in Wheatfield, New York. Um, and one of the biggest things that I remember amongst all the different things in that mall, there was the pet store, Dr. X, there was KB Toys, uh, Child World, which was a big chain, uh, big uh, toy store, kind of similar to Toys R Us. Um, Aladdin's Castle, I dumped hundreds and hundreds of quarters into video game machines in my 80s uh, at the Sunbark Mall. I remember going to uh, Star Wars, uh, at the General Cinema Theater um, that was right next to the Dr. X uh, movie theater uh, or Dr. X pet store. Um, you'd get done watching a movie or it'd be just before the movie and you would uh, uh, go to the window where they had uh, usually had kittens, uh, sometimes they had puppies um, and you'd uh, check out the animals just before you went to go see your movie. Um, but one of the things that uh, everyone seems to always remember uh, when they were young um, and in the 80s, late 70s, 80s, is uh, the York Steakhouse. York Steakhouse was a cafeteria style steakhouse restaurant. A tender, juicy, delicious half pound genuine sirloin steak dinner for just $2.39 at York Steakhouse is mouth-watering good. And remember, with your $2.39 sirloin steak dinner, there's no tipping, and York Steakhouse is open every day, including Sunday. Bring it thy family to York Steakhouse for a genuine sirloin steak dinner. Boulevard Mall in Amherst has a brand new restaurant, nationally famous York Steakhouse. Now open in the Boulevard Mall in Amherst, featuring great steak dinners at your kind of price. Visit York Steakhouse, Boulevard Mall, Amherst, or Summit Park Mall in Wheatfield. So York Steakhouse was started in 1966 by Bernadette Gross and Eddie Grayson. Uh, the first York Steakhouse was opened right here in Columbus, Ohio as a freestanding unit which was part of a pod of restaurants called The Patio. After building a few more units, York Steakhouse started opening in shopping malls where they found great success. In 1976, General Mills Restaurant Division acquired York Steakhouse and expanded the company to almost 180 units nationwide. Although York capitalized on mall traffic into the late 70s, by the mid-1980s, newer malls with food courts were saturating the market, leaving York and older locations with dwindling sales. Most locations were discontinued or sold off uh, to individuals and eventually closed. The only location that still stands today is this location here in Columbus, Ohio. This last unit strives to maintain the same quality atmosphere where loyal guests continue to have the best, the past nostalgic experience, the fresh present day of the It really takes you back. You walk down into the restaurant and uh, everything is just like it was back in the 80s. You know, the decor, the salad bar, and uh, even the food. We had a, uh, a small meal. We had the, uh, the lunch steak, and uh, it was delicious. Now you even got a chance to sit down and talk with Jay, the owner. I actually found you a couple years ago. Two or three years ago, I was parked across the street overnight, and I woke up and I looked across the street and I said, York? No, can't be. They're all gone. And I came over and it was like, it was like I walked into Back to the Future. <laughs> like the floor, the walls, everything was exactly the same. We've, we've pretty much kept it that way. People like to fill their childhood memories and what they remember when they were young. So. Absolutely. How'd you get involved in it? 
I had actually worked for the company for about nine years. Uh, I ran this store, actually. But when they were closing them up, and uh, I, there, I was, my store was part of a buyout. I so had a lot of bunch of them. Okay. And he was going to turn them into Bonanza. And, and then in the meantime, Ponderosa and Bonanza merged. And it was just, there was already Ponderosa out here, Bonanza out here. So I said, well, let me buy this one. Yeah. And, uh, so, but we we were successful and continued on. So, most of the York Steakhouses were in the malls, yeah. and, except about eight units. And so, I was one of those. And, so, we, we didn't depend on mall traffic. We were more, you know, destination. People knew they were going to York. And, I used to get the so, good deal. So, we've been here 50 years. And we were the third York ever built. So oh, okay. They started to close. I heard they started here. So, but, uh, so yeah, what made them real successful was the malls, but it also, you know, put them under because in the late '80s, by then nobody went to the mall anymore, right. and then they'd build a new mall. Right. And the old mall would go under, so it was just York was in all these other malls, and it just just wasn't worth trying to reinvent them. I think the big food court started to kill yeah, them and too. That too. Yeah, there was all that. So, but, uh, yeah. You know, people just the mall, even like here in Columbus. There's, we've had like three or four malls closed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's just a new one built, and they, they wouldn't close up. So, right. but, uh, but it's been good to me, you know. So, uh, and my son's with me too. He works, so oh, okay. we hope to continue on for quite a few years. Wow, like I said, I, that was part of the reason I why I wanted to feature it was the time capsule factor. Yeah. You know, there's still people back home that you know we sit back and you're like, you talk about the old mall and you're like, do you remember the York Steakhouse? And everybody's like, yeah, I used to love you. You go in there and there was the dessert thing right at the beginning. Uh, I should have been a little more prepared. I didn't think the restaurant looked that great this morning. But, uh, oh, that's all right. We, we do our best. So, uh, but yeah, we, we're still going strong and things are good. Uh, Excellent. Can't complain. We, you know, we have an old building and old uh, stuff, but we, we keep it running. So, uh, Excellent. It's good. But, but thanks for stopping in. That's I appreciate you talking to us. And, uh, That's the York Steakhouse, and uh, we're gonna hit the road. Uh, we're heading down to Springfield, Missouri. I'm not really sure how far we're gonna get tonight. Uh, I don't think we'll make it all the way there, um, but we'll, uh, we'll get as far as we can, that's for sure. If you get a chance to get down to Columbus, Ohio, stop by here, check out the York Steakhouse. Uh, it's a good time, good meal. Flashback into the past, and uh, It's all good. Looking for a great lunch at a great price? Well, York has lots of them. York Steakhouse, we serve the best in food and quality. At York Steakhouse, we've got delicious honey-glazed roast chicken, a variety of specialty chef salads, delicate baked filet of fish, and tender, juicy luncheon steaks. You'll get a lot more food for a lot less than you thought the price would be. Come to York and get a lot more lunch for a lot less money. York State House.